Thank you so much, people. Wow, there is the mic. Thank you all for coming. Mike, where's the mic? Is he here? Mike, thank you for coming. You look well rested, which is uh, better than a couple of weeks when you were well arrested. <laughs> but before we get into Mike Heron, uh, let's talk about Scotty real quick. Your host. Give it up for your host, Scotty Medeiros. Yes, yes. Isn't he pale? Oh, he is so pale. Scotty is so pale that the last time he had a tan was when he was in my shadow. I'm going to take it easy on Scotty, though. He's had a rough childhood, okay? He grew up thinking that certain things just didn't exist. Like Santa, the Easter Bunny, his dad. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Scotty's dad, Scott's dad was a mailman. And as we know, mailmen don't deliver on Sundays. But Scott, your dad must be special, because he hasn't delivered your whole life. <laughs> That's funny. Cory Tachar is here, with the pubic hair on his head. Cory loves psychedelic drugs, which makes a lot of sense. If I was that fucking ugly, I'd want to distort my reality, too. Um, that's all I have for Cory. Uh, Cory talks a lot of shit. No, really, his breath is so bad that when he talks, it smells like shit. Alan is here, that train wreck that was up here a second ago. What joke can I say about you that God hasn't already played? <laughs> Alan's a simple man. He's got his paycheck in one hand and his small penis in the other. And still his fiance manages to blow both of them. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Pick on someone your own size. But I don't know anyone that's five feet tall, 350 pounds. And lastly, Justin Crofton will be roasting. Now, Justin is really difficult to roast because there's nothing interesting about him. Except for his hot girlfriend. <laughs> Justin's, Justin's a classic example of an ugly guy who's with a hot girl. And it's annoying, okay? It's always weird to see Dorothy with one of the flying monkeys. <laughs> but I gotta say, Justin... He is such a, he's such a great joke teller. <laughs> he said something to me earlier today, I'm still laughing about it. He said, hey Joe, my relationship's gonna last. <laughs> it was so funny for me. Those jokes sucked. Oh, I, hate ro I hate roasting the roasters, that's the stupidest shit. Mike Karen, everyone. Mike, thank you so much for taking the time out of being Chris Aaron's brother to be here. Um, I gotta say, you have changed the face of radio. I just wish radio would return the favor. Mike, the only reason you're a popular Fall River radio personality is because Hank the Dwarf is dead. Mike's actually a born-again Christian, uh, which is no surprise. People usually tend to find Jesus when they've made unforgivable mistakes, like HurricaneRadio.net. <laughs> no, listen, I give Mike a lot of credit, though. He's a hard worker. He's always looking for sponsors, whether it be for his radio show or his AA meetings. Okay? And people say that Mike is second to no one, and I have to agree. No one is here, and Mike is right below that. Uh, but seriously though, guys... <laughs> everyone's read the book Fall River Dreams while they're rewriting a book uh, based on my parent called Fall River Nightmares. It's about a local radio show host's rise to fame and fortune. It's a fiction novel. <laughs> People come up to me and they, they say, Mike Heron and Chris Heron are completely different, but I disagree. I think they're similar, but different. For example, Mike likes to eat at Dunkin' Donuts. Chris Heron likes to crash through Dunkin' Donuts. Get up there and spit out all of my parents' faults. But I don't have to do that. The Herald News 
Jesus does that for me. Okay? What I will say is this man is a derpy legend. Okay? Give it up for him. A derpy legend. While at Derby, Mike held two records, an undefeated season and consecutive state titles. Today, Mike also holds two records, assault and battery and assault with a dangerous weapon. So I'd like to finish off and tell you this, Mike. You're dirty, you're gross, you're irresponsible, and you're empty inside. You're like Lafayette Pool. Seriously though, Mike, I uh, respect the hell out of you. You built your radio station from the ground up, and you're actually on FM now. That's huge. Uh, 103.1. Thank you. Thanks for letting me, Rosie. I wish you nothing but the best, man.